should also be talking about the legacy of Drew Brees. Yeah, absolutely. Here he is, yeah. almost 40 years old, yeah. in his walk year, had a rough first half, led him back all the way to take a, a one-point lead with less than a half minute to go, and Drew Brees stunned. Yeah, this, this is tough. You know, I think we're all still a bit shell-shocked as to what happened there at the end. Um, you know, felt felt pretty good about you know our odds of winning once uh, once we were able to kick the field goal and um, just unfortunate um, sequence of events there. As far as your second half, it seemed like you were able to rebound after uh, you know the turnovers and such in the first half. What were, what were you seeing? What yeah, were you guys listen, able to do? we we uh, we didn't get didn't get a whole lot of rhythm going in the first half. You know, they did a nice job. Um, you know, the interception to Teddy um, probably just forced it there. Didn't really need to do that. The other, uh, the second one was just unfortunate. You know, you get a ball tipped at the line of scrimmage, and that's bad luck. Um, you know, prior to that, you know, we score on a play, and um, I guess we, we didn't have a guy set, you know, which that's unfortunate, too, because, you know, those are big opportunities. You know, that's seven points that just disappears off the board. And in a game like this, you know, every point counts. But um, can't say enough about the way that we battled there in the second half. Uh, man, I think we scored on every drive. Um, it's hard to do that <laughs> on the road, playoffs against this team, that defense, number one defense in football right there. You know, and um, so I can't say enough about our guys and the resolve of our team um, just to, 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 to battle back after being down 17 nothing, and um, really felt like we had should have won that game. How does a guy like this handle this loss? Because he knows that he's very close to the end of his career, but we know he's going to end up in Canton. We know he's a Super Bowl MVP. He's one of the best ever, all that sort of stuff. How does he digest a loss like this? Well, Drew is a good friend of mine, and, and you know, I know him very well. And so he'll take some time, you know, go home with his family, go, go back to San Diego and, and take some time off with his family, with his kids. I'm sure coach his kid this spring in, in flag football. And, and he'll just think about his next move. What does he want to do for the next two or three years? And that's, that's kind of, that'll be his approach. What do I want to do for the next two to three years? What do I see myself being in the next two to three years? Because I believe that's probably what he's thinking in terms of how much longer he's going to play. I don't know this for sure, but just knowing Drew like I know him, that's probably what he's thinking. The Saints aren't the Saints without Drew Brees. Mm -hmm. Sean Payton needs Drew Brees to continue what he started. They have a young group, yeah. uh, a young team defensively. They only need a few more pieces. Mm -hmm. yeah. Offensively, the same thing. They you, can acquire you that. tell us what pieces they, they need? Yeah, but they need safety for one. <laughs> Not just because of that play. I said that earlier in, in yeah. uh, the meeting room. Uh, let, let's sure up that offensive line a little bit. And you, you got to get in somebody, someone else on the outside yeah. at, at receiver as well. Let's get him another corner, too. Let's just try to find a young corner with that same intensity and that same focus that Lattimore has. These two belong together. And Drew needs to go back to that city to give them another opportunity. But yet and still, they need to draft the young quarterback yeah. so he could be groomed up under Drew Brees and Sean Payton. 